Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another No Delay live stream. Once again, this is Futures Analytica, and we are going to be trading NQ futures with the Polarity ATI. So first off, I think that we can all tell that this is a trend mode market state. You can see that although the prices or the price of the market is somewhat range bound, the range is so large in between the RSIs compared to our take profit that it wouldn't be a regression mode switch. So we're gonna put it into trend mode here. We're gonna be arming it in both directions. Let's see here, we get put into our first trade of the day already. It's gonna be a buy trade there. Gets pushed up to our break even and we get filled already right off the bat. We are rearming it in both directions. Also guys, I do have an exciting new announcement. I hadn't been thinking of doing a polarity update, at least for some time, but we have been doing active development on machine learning. So we're gonna be able to get you guys that um, pretty shortly. It's gonna be a machine learning optimization of settings. So you guys won't have to manually adjust settings anymore. It'll be tailored to your trading style and how you personally trade. And it would be based off of the current market state. So actively it will change the settings. So there'd be less manual intervention needed. See that, oh, looks like we got filled into another trade there. It's a short trade this time, immediately moving down to our almost break even. And we get filled right off the bat. You can see we're in a very strong downtrend here. And we're gonna keep it in trend mode for that reason. You can see that adversary detection is keeping us out of those trades there with the, um, oh, we get just got put into a trade and already down to our break even. Almost got stopped out actually, right off the bat there. But um, that's why we have that auto break even. It isn't just set to that stop loss right off. Unfortunately, there is our first loss of the day. So we're down to $800 profit. Fortunately though, we are minimizing those losses with that auto break even. I don't really know what to call it because it's not technically a break even, but that's what Ninja Trader calls it. We just have it on an offset. So it's not a true break even but it does minimize our risk. I guess we can just call it a stop chase, but personally I've found it to be extremely helpful in um, minimizing risk, taking risk off the table once you already have the uh, trade in your favor. Fortunately there, we do get a consecutive loss. I am actually going to be switching it into regression mode here because we are finally getting a formation of a possible new range. We're gonna be marking out this zone here and the low of the previous bar. If this bar closes above that yellow zone, we are gonna be switching it back into trend. We didn't get the chance to there. We actually uh, got filled before we could make that mode switch, but it looks like it's gonna be in our favor here. And we've re-entered the range, so I'm not gonna be putting it into trend. Jeez, guys, I'm sorry about that. I just realized that we want to trade without me even looking. Um, I forgot to rearm the strategy there, so that's my bad. <laughs> I was just checking how many viewers watching the stream. Nice, healthy 180 about, so that's exciting. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. That's funny, though. Completely missed that trade. But we uh, are in this range that we had marked out earlier. So, of course, it wasn't a perfect range because we did get that little breakout, and then we got into a regression trade outside of the range, which pushed us right back in. But um, we are going to still continue I actually am going to move this upward in between these two levels because it would be inaccurate to not do so. We actually just get a consecutive fill there, trade win, and we get put right into another one here. We just got filled once again back to back. That is some pretty insane amount of profit there just from a couple seconds of market activity. So we're up to $2,800 on the day now, a little bit over halfway to our profit target. Also guys, to touch up on that machine learning update, um, that will be a complimentary update. We will not be charging for that, of course. If you buy Polarity, you, you are entitled to um, all future updates to Polarity. Uh, does unfortunately look like we got stopped out of there, but um, we did get to our target chase, or our stop chase there. So um, fortunately that did minimize our losses. Got filled into a short trade here, right at the top of this range. That gives me good feelings about it, but looks like <laughs> that unfortunately was not the case and we got stopped out of there. So um, two consecutive losses in a row. However, fortunately, they were minimal. So one trade 
is actually still greater than two losses with a target chase or a stop chase. We are gonna be switching it into trend mode here because it broke out of this little range. Got put into a trade there, we are going to be um, rearming it and we got filled on that trend trade back up to $2,600 of profit, almost 27. So two steps backward and then one big step forward. Got put into another trend trade here, short. Um, get put up to our auto break even pretty quickly there. And we get filled up to 32. And we got put into another short trade, back to back. Restart, um, target chase, stop chase. Man, I gotta get that terminology down. But um, here just hovering right in between. Just need a little bit more to take us out of that trade. And then we get another consecutive fill up to 3,800. We did re-enter this range. We are gonna be flicking it into regression mode and we've armed it in both directions and then put into another trade. Just gotta love this kind of fast paced market. This is exactly why I trade MQ. It's just keeps you on your toes, keeps you thinking, doesn't give you any time to overthink. So it's, that's extremely helpful for me personally. That's why I stopped trading ES. Uh, ES is still a great instrument to trade. I can. Definitely go back to ES for um, at least a short while just to show you guys like how to use it on that if you guys prefer to trade ES. Um, and we do get filled here into a long trade. And we get, oh wow, looks like that puts us above our $5,000 profit target for the day. You know, I gotta say, that was a really exciting trading day and nice and brief. Just a couple of, of bars of market movement there. I mean, we finished the day out in 11 minutes. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. I mean, given that we are on we are on seven contracts, so um, obviously that's not super applicable to everyone. But I'd say we, we we pulled that out pretty good. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. And um, I will be streaming next week on Monday. I will be sending an email out the night before for a link to join, along with the time that I will be streaming. So um, I am going to try and get to consistent schedule because I know that this is uh, super helpful for you guys and also bring you more um, updates on that machine learning thing I was talking to you guys about so I think that'll be super exciting for you guys and I really appreciate all the support thank you guys so much for tuning in